hello everyone how you all are doing i wish many blessings for all of you and i hope that everything is working out in your favor for your highest good you're listening to light channelings and i have a special message for all the divine feminines who are not quite happy with what's going on in their life and in relationship with this spiritual connection that they have and feel with a specific person so we'll start with it it's most likely the feminine that will listen to this audio but doesn't have to be the feminine here is very concerned about this connection and about her person as well because he's just too different for her and he's not what she always wanted or i may say that he is not as the typical person the feminine dreamt to have a life with or the feminine dreamt to have a life partner like for her this person is way too different and is not what she expected and dreamt for herself and she's very disappointed with how things are going at the moment she's not happy at all and is concerned about her future with this person with this man who is um just not what she always wanted for her she feels like all her all her dreams are shattered but what she doesn't realize just yet is that she's got the best match chosen by god himself for her she's not able to realize that just yet but at this moment she is unable to see and recognize it as a blessing instead she is doubtful heartbroken sad and fearful about this relationship as to where it is going as to how she is going to survive in this relationship at the moment she is jumping to conclusions making assumptions and expecting what could go worse in the situation she is also very disappointed with her person that at times she questions god's choice for her and she asks why did you choose this man for me why this person just look at him just look at how he behaves just look at how he lives his life just look at what he's doing is that what i deserve no i don't i don't deserve this i deserve better this is what happens this is how she talks with god at times when she is not happy with this connection when she is upset when she is not appreciative of what's happening it seems as if she wants to complain to god but she is not able to because she is not able to find the right words as she has a lot of faith in god and his choices and his decisions as well but she knows that god can never be wrong god knows better than anyone else she is trying to trust him but at the same time when she looks at the present situation and when she looks and observes this person god chose for her she says to herself like really is this what you chose for me are you like really sure about it do we need any second guessings it is it is like she is not able to fully trust god's plan for her you see she thinks like no this is is this your final choice isn't it we can't go back so like there is no going back now okay so i have to accept it just as it is okay fine let me see these are the things that are going on in her mind 
she is trying hard very hard to convince herself to have full faith and trust in god's choices decisions and plans that are there for her but when she observes and takes a look at what is happening at the present situation and the circumstances she feels as if her prayers got completely unheard and rejected she gets very upset at her present situation and with this person that god chose for her it's because he's way too different than her usual type all she is noticing and observing and is pointing fingers towards is this person's flaws imperfections and mistakes this person just doesn't fit into the perception standards and the expectations of this feminine's ideal man's image instead when she observes this person she thinks that he's just the opposite of what she always wanted or what she considers to be a ideal man for her she's being challenged she is being challenged to look beyond what's on the surface but she is not able to at this point of time her mind and her intellect is clouded by her judgments conclusions her fears doubts and dilemmas and confusion a lot of confusion but what she doesn't know is that what she is rejecting or trying to reject or judge or look down upon at this point of time will come out as the best possible answer for her prayers about having true love true true divine love and a ideal mate for in her life she is not able to see that just yet she is not able to see and recognize that at this point of time but but as time goes by and their bond gets deepened with time just a second i think i missed something here please uh, wait let me see yeah so as time goes by she will see that all her wishes got in the past and are already getting fulfilled one by one the only thing that happened was that she couldn't see it in the beginning or couldn't understand the depth and the vastness and i don't uh, know what word should i use here but she'll be able to understand the magic not right now but later on with time everything will start to make sense to her and then she will realize why god's ways are so unique and different for everyone so this is kind of a story i um relate here so the she i am referring here is you who is listening to this audio most probably it doesn't have to be as i said earlier in this audio but it's most likely that you are a feminine you are a feminine listening to this audio and your person is the masculine counterpart you are not quite happy with at this point of time for multiple reasons multiple reasons you are having a lot of difficulty seeing your counterpart in a positive light at this point of time you are very disappointed you are very upset you are very sad you are very heartbroken over your counterpart <clears throat> and you don't see any possibility and hope in your person as to how they treat you how they see you how they have been taking you for granted for so long how they prioritize everything else and everyone else over you 
because all such things that are happening at the moment you are feeling very challenged to even imagine that anything good can come out of the situation or anything that is desirable to you can happen and you are also thinking that will your counterpart be able to meet your expectations anytime soon or in the future if this is what's god's plan for you because you don't see any results you don't see any results you are doubtful about hoping that your person will ever be able to do justice to you, to you or towards you you just can't seem to look above and beyond the current blocks that are blocking your way the obstacles you are facing and the challenges challenges that you are experiencing on your path but <clears throat> you have no idea how many blessings how much personal satisfaction and happiness is awaiting for you to have in your life through way of your counterpart you are not able to appreciate and accept or think anything positive about your counterpart at this point of time because they are different and they are not your usual type and you have not learned just yet how to accept appreciate or think good about someone that is different or someone that doesn't live up to your expectations does that clicks does that make you uh, that does that makes you think deeper and change something within your belief systems or mindset that's something that only you can do so how they act how they live how they behave everything contradicts your expectations and standards of someone that can potentially be your ideal partner so if you'll think clearly here in this way you may understand that at times when our expectations are not met it could just be a blessing in disguise you could just be getting protected that may bring even more harm or that may bring even more unbearable disappoint disappointments in your life later on if not at the point if not at this moment the guidance <clears throat> and the advice here is try not to look on the surface so much instead you can focus on the inner self of your person what is inside of them is actually a lot better that you can imagine the facade your person may be putting up to or anything or everything that you see may just be a challenge for you to look inside within you and and question yourself how you've been raised how you see differences how you handle differences okay what is inside of this person is a lot better what you were expecting to see and please wait once 
you come out of these transitions and challenges what will come out of it is something that you've always wanted but it is wrapped up in a not so flashy bright gift paper the appearance of this gift uh, i would say this blessing that you have which you are not able to appreciate at this moment looks very ordinary and to some of you it looks actually ugly okay metaphorically speaking that's why you want to reject it or give up on it and you do not want to accept it but what's inside of that gift or inside of that wrap is something that you've always wanted wished and dreamt of okay that's why we are being suggested to look above and beyond what's on the surface and it's i'm telling you it's not that easy we are conditioned to look and observe and focus on what's happening in the physical that we can't find a way to look beyond and connect with someone spiritually at times it it really is challenging i know that but once we get centered we can but if we are operating from our ego yes it is going to be difficult so you know what you need to do you have to tell your ego to calm down and sit down and let your intuition speak to you let your inner self come out so that your inner self can connect with your person's inner self and then you will be able to see through the veil okay so when it comes to relationships and marriages you don't actually live with the outside appearance but your connection is more affected and impacted by the balance or imbalance of the inner self of the of the person you are connected with okay a person can be all charming good looking have huge wealth mansion or multiple cars and still not know how to treat their person and other people right with respect and integrity there are a lot of examples in the world just roll your eyes and you will see a lot more names sorry uh, you will see a lot a lot of people that are like that or you may hear about a lot of people that may not be that famous but th- but still are in your society or are living somewhere around you on the other hand a person may not be that charming or may not look that charming at this point of time or sophisticated or of a high society but they still can hold their person's hand when in need and show unconditional love mercy compassion and kindness and all kind of virtues for a success for a successful relationship to work out or for a lifelong commitment to work out so you don't see these things at this point of time you don't realize all this at this moment but with with time you will understand all of this you will understand everything most often we dream of getting someone like like prince charming or a princess so we kind of set up our expectations and standards that this is the only way or this is just 
how our person should be like but the mistake that we do is that we forget that at times someone can have all the qualities of an idol person but they may not just look like a prince or a princess that we always dreamt of or expected what they show and the appearance of everything that is there in their environment or how they act live and behave just could be completely different from our set of expectations and standards you see that's why you are being guided and advised to look beyond what is ab- available for you to see at this point of time do you understand because eventually you will see and you will be made to see how you and your person complement each other perfectly and you are a perfect match to have a successful lifelong marriage or a relationship you are prob- you are probably not open to hear or appreciate this at this point of time but you two are a match made in heaven and you you are like a pair of swan that symbolizes true love loyalty and lifelong commitment so to confirm this message is for you or not you will synchronistically receive or come around with some signs or patterns that are going to show you pictures of a pair of swans or your person's name around it or somewhere related to it or your name around it or related to it with that you'll also encounter the name or pictures of the ascended masters that are going to confirm this message for you okay and that are watching over you and your person helping you to come together in this lifetime we are already 22 minutes in okay so at this time you are you're too focused on what's not happening according to you and what's not going according to you but you don't realize how much you are being protected here you don't know how much toxic toxicity or toxicity i don't know toxicity okay you don't know how negative and toxic your person's environment is and you don't know what could happen if you entered in their environment at this point of time their environment is filled with negative and toxic toxic their environment is their environment is filled with very mean cruel narcissistic negative toxic people including their friends their family members their associates and the people they work with especially a mother that is highlighted that is the root cause of all the negativity in the house and in the family and also the negative behaviors of your person towards you and other f- females in their life because of this person your person acts and behaves so negatively okay because of this mother she is just too toxic and too negative too toxic means too to- toxic if you really want to understand this woman just go and watch some kind of um, bollywood movie which is which revolves around a mother figure that is like the most evil kind of person you would ever encounter uh, i am not trying to uh, picture her as you know demon but what i am trying to say here is that 
she just doesn't have any respect empathy or positivity for other people than her own blood okay but at the same time if her son or her daughter or her husband or whoever is not acting according to her she makes sure that she is doing everything to bring that person down or cause as much hurt as much as she can so that that person can never feel confident within themselves i'm just trying to tell you about her in the most simplest of ways i don't want you to go there trust me i don't want you to go there it's just too toxic for you and you are very sensitive and she loves hurting sensitive people she loves it she just loves it trust me you wouldn't want to be in such a situation with your person at this point of time because the damage this mother figure is going to do to you has the potential to break you apart from within if you are not empowered enough to deal with the situation and these people they are they work in gang okay they this mother figure doesn't work alone she's got her daughters she's got other people beside her to make plans to you know i don't know it's like okay leave it so that's why you're too sensitive and you just shouldn't be there at this point of time and your person is very loving towards this mother figure because she has abused her power in such a way of being a mother that your person cannot raise their voice in front of her at this point of time even if they do at times it is in a way where they are trying to act in a childish manner they are not being serious okay they are too afraid to stand up in front of this mother figure for a serious change or for a serious discussion because they are too fearful of her reaction she is the type of woman that is going to throw dishes onto people or throw things onto people or may uh threat of doing things here and there of multiple sorts i don't know and she she just spits poison when she speaks do you understand that's what that's how toxic she is she brainwashed your person to do everything according to what she thinks is good for him that is why they are like that your person is a mama's boy or your per- per- person is a mama's girl um dependent on your situation you'll know better but they are just you know in order to take a stand you need to be fearless your person is very fearful of their mother very fearful i see the possibility here that it it is going to change but it's going to take time and at this point of time your person is dependent on their mother either financially or emotionally or otherwise i don't know but there is dependency and in some of your cases until your person gets a job or a gets into their own home house or um gets a property in their name in different city or at a separate place i don't see a union happening i i am not um, telling that you will not get together with your person i don't see a marriage happening okay your person is concerned about you as well and they don't want you to uh, get into that family with such people and that environment that's why they are planning to have a separate home and if they are not planning it is a plan from source 
you can't live with these people you can't you just can't okay so your person is very loving but this time at this time he or she is not in a position to take a strong stand towards in front of their mother not towards in front of their mother because he wants he thinks that a happy family is a family that stays together so he doesn't or she doesn't realize that a happy family also needs happy people within it a happy family cannot be filled with toxic and negative family members but your person doesn't have that much maturity your person is carrying those orthodox values and principles within them and they are trying to drag them down here onto this path where they feel like if they'll keep everyone together then everything will work out that's why at times they stay silent they are trying to make it work even if they are even if these people are very difficult to deal with all these family members are doing is that they are taking as much advantage of your person as much as they can and abuse him and abuse their power over him because he just doesn't say anything oh you my sister elder or younger doesn't matter so you are entitled to get gifts from me here and there everywhere but if that is being reciprocated maybe possibly but but for what reason to have control over your person to interfere in everything they are doing and especially when it comes to you the interference the interference that happens is you know i'm trying to give you an example that when something doesn't uh, feels good to you kind you kind of poke one finger into it but here these people are poking all their five ten fingers including fingers of their feet as well i know some of you might laugh at this example i gave but that's just what came into my mind i am trying to tell you you know it's funny i know it's funny but this is what happens this is exactly what happens in okay leave it so the only thing is that your empowerment and your success will be a slapping answer to these people and these individuals trust me until you're not empowered and you you don't have that success that you can stand in front of them on your own two feet with your head held with your head held high and enough confidence within yourself to stare them in their eyes they are going to abuse you trust me there are many stories of women being mistreated in their at their um, husband's house by their in-laws i don't need to uh, go deep and explain that much to you you are smart enough to understand what i'm trying to say here but once you reach that level of empowerment and confidence within yourself and you are independent and successful that will also help your person to gain confidence and to break free from all of this they'll 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 have a change of perspective they'll learn and they'll they'll grow so just don't focus on present circumstances and focus on your goals and ambitions your bond is already divinely blessed it's blessed but there are things that need to happen first before you can see the results that you want to see and it's not the right time just yet you don't realize it now but your counterpart is the most perfect match and the most ideal match chosen by god only for you 
to bless you beyond what you can imagine but you need to have you need to develop that perspective and you need to work on uh, gaining that much wisdom and understanding to see the situation from different angles and perspectives and to look at this to look at the situation from a higher point of understanding okay so this is we are already 35 to 36 minutes in so now i'll take leave and something confirmed here which i just um, included in this message that until your person gets their own own house or gets or gets a job i don't see a marriage happening i don't see a coming together happening but it will work out okay ascended ascended masters are there with you everything is under divine control you need not worry about anything the only thing that you should worry about is that you need to level up now it's, now is not the time to uh, you know sit there and cry but to work on yourself and achieve your goals and dreams so that was the message and i hope that it will help you and it will help you uh, feel comfortable and get some relief over your anxiety okay thank you so much bye bye